All right, touch the sky. Probably the hardest of the maps uh, as far as stealth is concerned. And just because it's so close quarters and most of it is secure so you can't sprint. Still, I have a route for it, a strategy for it, and two specific guards that aren't coming back to work involved in it. And I will hopefully also be able to show you guys how to do the Spec Ops challenge while we're here. Uh, for now, none of these are good for stealth. Zipline is phenomenal for loud. It allows you to drop off the loot from the bedroom straight into the helicopter with almost no risk to yourself. Uh, I definitely suggest this for loud, but as this is a stealth guide, I'm not bringing in anything except for a couple of guns with silencers. All right, overkill touch the sky. There's a lot going on in this map. Large portions of it are secure, so there's not really a lot of sprinting. Uh, things are kind of tight. There's a lot of guards in small areas. It can be a pain in the ass, but I like to take out a couple of guards up top. And sometimes I like to take out the camera room. Uh, in this particular pass, I don't think I'm going to. Uh, loops are really, really powerful, and they kind of stop you from needing to care about cameras. Careful shooting this out. If you shoot it right when you can first see it, your bullet will go through that window, breaking the window, and pissing off a lot of guards. Ask me how I know. I bet you can figure it out. Uh, I like to take this civvy because it opens up that pathway right there to walk through, plus she can see you when you're down below walking around outside by the planters. Tie her up here. There could be poison there. There isn't this time. Uh, there's only one guard that patrols through this area. He's a guy I like to take out. Guard, over there. He stands right there at the beginning, like 99% of the time. Sometimes when you drop down, he's already about hitting the corner. Hello? Loose the fucking hey, gun. Don't shoot. I know, crazy with that I'm standing right, right in front of you with a gun. Thank don't you. shoot. All right, so we grab him hostage. If you're trying to get the spec ops achievement for not killing any guards, this does count, by the way. Just taking a dude hostage doesn't count as killing him. Yeah. You will still get the achievement. I, I, uh, on my run, I did it to him and the guy in the camera room made the whole map very, very easy. Uh, I think what I might do this time, though... Spotted a guard. I might take another one of these What's two the guard? guards that live up here. Oh, I forgot to start the hack to the bathroom I, or bedroom. I was trying to figure out why everything felt weird. My bad. You pop right over here, start the hack. You can like crouch walk out there even when there are guards and you're usually fine. Camera will eventually turn away. That's another one I like to hack. I'm a little behind where I usually am at this point in the map though. So I didn't start that right away, so let's make up some time and walk. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hack these two cameras Drop the and gun. take him. Stop right there! You don't wanna mess with me. Down. Well, All stop right, shooting. take it easy. Situation oh okay. yeah, hi. I was so, gonna uh, move him straight on through, but no I think that other anything, guard is. But who would you call if there was a wolf on the premises? Yeah. Huh, never mind. It sounds suspicious. Thought I heard the other guard, so I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't make a move right now. But anyway, if I'm going to leave the cameras up, those are the two guards that I'm going to take out. Makes upstairs incredibly easy. There's almost nobody up here anymore. Uh, lead guard and one other guard, I think, are the only things I have to worry about. And of course, the cameras themselves, but... Come on. If you're aware of the camera and it's not pressuring you with something else, it's pretty easy to take care of. So now that upstairs is nice and clear and I'm not going to take cams... I love shooting those in stealth. They're just so loud. There's the camera. I'd hack that, but the two hacks I have going right now are perfect for something that's happening later. With Mason and the poison. Oh, there's the head guard! Wouldn't you know What's it? There's the only two guards on this floor, and there they are. So a head guard does come up and patrol to you right there outside the doors like he is. It's actually a fantastic spot for him, uh, because if you want to get him marked and know his location for the entire map, and I'm being honest, in almost every map, if you're going to mark some guard, the head guard is that guard. 
So I'll slap that on his waist. Now I know where he is whenever I want. I can just switch to my handy dandy little micro cam and be like, so where Headguard? Oh, there Headguard. I usually use motion trackers. They're maybe better for this, but I'm currently working on a challenge to place a bunch of cams, so he gets a cam. All right, and that's good. We have access to the here. In the, the next part of the map is to... Oh, okay. Well, apparently I, apparently I got that right away. I like to spam F and pull books, but no books for me. The vault opens with a code. Must be in the office. Oh, I have no idea. I like to guess codes whenever I get the opportunity. Okay, so uh, now it is 4.50, and we're going to sit here and wait until Headguard decides to grace us with his presence. The only time somebody on this map can walk through that middle room upstairs right there that I was talking about is right now when you open this door. He has a chance to change his patrol route and quickly walk through there to come in here. Other than that, best bet, easy, guaranteed, free hack on him is to hang out here in this room. That was 5.15 and uh, we're just going to sit here and wait for him. So I'll see you guys in a minute. There he is, seven and a half minutes into the heist. I must have got him in the very back of his patrol route because he took forever. He usually takes less than a minute. All right, so we sit here. If he walks up to this side of the vault, you can hang out in the bathroom and still hack him. If he's on the other side, honestly, you can just hang out right behind him and just move when he starts to rotate. It's not the hardest thing in the world. But this is the failure proof version of hacking the phone Guard, over you'll there. get him before he even hits the door and be done good yep you got the digital key the filing room is the one with a red qr scanner next to it the guard remember i said i wasn't going to switch my hacks because i figured i had them in the right spot yeah i absolutely lied i have to go to the filing room which is right in front of this thing so we're switching one of those cameras All right, the filing room can either be here or downstairs and around the corner to the left at the bottom of the corner. Uh, whichever room isn't the filing room becomes the security room. The key card. It should be in the filing room. See a little bit of orange there. That's where it's at. Grab that. Come up through here. Figure out which one of these two cameras is undone. This one. Switch the hack back. Just gonna move the hack on this camera, so we'll put that one back. That's where we want them. I have to bring Mason up here later, so. Looking at the floor plans, that. We'll get access to here. Pop that. That's where his room. thing's gonna be. Now Look we need to poison to him. I checked upstairs earlier. No poison in the bathroom. No poison in the bathroom. Poison in the bathroom. A delivery guy just walked into the building with a bottle of really fancy whiskey. It must be meant for the penthouse. Could prove useful. Poison! So the delivery guy will eventually come in through the front door. It There's does take him, like, forever. I should be safe to stand right here, though. I don't like any guards patrol through this area or up or down this staircase. So we will sit and we will wait. He's currently talking to the security guy at the front door. Then he gets let in and walks through here. You can take his blank VIP badge off of his belt. Um, I don't know what that does. I think it allows you to walk around private areas if you're masked off, but I don't know. I've always been masked on at this point. Civilian. That's him right there. He'll walk into the kitchen and drop off a very expensive bottle of whiskey as they have alluded to already. He puts it like right there. Right, right there. And now the goal that I honestly screw up the most when I'm doing this map. Uh-oh. Watch the guard. There we go. I need to get here and poison this. See if you then I need to, to ring the bell. Back. Now I need to get the hell out of here. Someone's heading over to the bar. Perfect, we got the hell out. That may have seemed very easy, but there's like four guards that patrol through here. Two cameras. 
Let's see right. stomach this stuff. So we ring the bell and what that guy think? goes over to make a drink for Mason. Now Mason gets his drink on and we hang out in this bathroom. Why this bathroom, you ask? Because I'm like 99% sure that he always runs to this bathroom. That guy serves him a glass. He flips him off or whatever that was. He's making himself a drink. Get ready. There's a lot of waiting in this map. It's unfortunate, but it just is what it is. Guard. He is the drink. We be aware of the guard downstairs. He's gonna come to the bathroom because he ain't feeling so hot. I'm gonna figure out where the lead guard is, which appears to be right What's outside the of the panic room. Can you imagine, dude? You come in here, you're throwing up, you're feeling... Okay, I don't want to hear that. You're feeling like shit. And then you just get grabbed from behind by an armed man and you're like, dude, now is not the time. I've thought about fighting armed intruders off dozens of times in the shower, but not while I'm on the ground vomiting. All right, then you move them up the stairs. That's why I hacked those two cameras earlier so that they couldn't catch me doing this. Okay, come hey, on. what are you doing? Access granted. Hey, watch it. All right, and then we take him back. Uh, One of those codes should I think get it's you this into corner. Yeah, I can put him in here. So later, a lead guard will patrol into this room. I don't actually know when that starts. That could have just started right now. Oh, shit. Wait, what was the... 7455? Was that the one? I think so. What's the guard? That's the only guard besides the head guard that patrols up here. Which means I know I should be pretty safe going over here. Don't hear any feet coming up these stairs. Type in the vault code. 7455 was in fact the code. Pop that. Check on where he's at. Take all the loose cash because why not? And then we just really quick crack his safe. Grab the safe. SSD. The drive back to the office and plug it into the computer. What's the goal? Make sure they He's in this room right now. All right. Well, let's evade what we know where he is. Only one other guard upstairs right now. Makes that pretty easy to move around. Like I said, this is a super easy version of the map that both gets you spec ops and just makes it really easy to move around. Uh, I am not going to start this. So, lead guard can patrol into this room now, right? We're gonna make sure he does that before I start. Because the other thing lead guard can do is he can see the hack on the SSD, he can stop the hack on the SSD, and he can call for backup because he saw the hack on the SSD. And, um, I hate that. I have lost three stealth heists now because I have forgotten about that or just placed it and he's randomly walked into the room halfway through and caught me. I've had friends of mine argue that it, he just he doesn't do it. He's definitely walked into the room while I've been hacking and he didn't care. And to those friends, I say, fuck you. I can't ping him. He's too thick. My camera's too far out. All right, based on his patrol route right now, he's about to come in here. If we just wait patiently for him to do this and throw the hack up behind him, he definitely won't see it. But yeah, he comes here. He stands right here. And the hack goes while he's standing here, but it's like in the moment that he turns around to leave, he sees it. Guard, over there. Yeah, right there when he turns around. That is the moment that I have lost 
several the of these running. heists. Now I have a theory that I have not tested where you can take loot. You can go out here and you can throw it in the vent over there. And I don't think anyone that's alive will see it. If you wanted to do a full pull, I think that is the route in order to take all of the loot out of this map. But this is a guide just to show you how to do the map fairly easily, fairly quickly. So I'm going to take this SSD and I'm going to leave. Oh, did I not ping him and all that? Party. All right. Dive successfully ejected. We have it. I don't Make think sure he gets mad about any of that anymore. Leaving. So you can take a thousand years to get the rest. Let's now, the go. other thing is I need to wait until this guard leaves the lobby. And I can hack that distraction device, lure the guard away, and go out the front door. Uh, that's not required. I can just hack his radio and walk around him, too. But you have to be careful if you're going to use the distraction device. Uh, having the ability to hack it from range is nice. Super that's useful weird. here. There we go. Cameras are still up, so you just got to be a little careful. But yeah, you get him with the lure. You throw that in there. You're free to leave. We've done what we came to do. The other thing that I was speaking about earlier, which I think is totally... Oh God, he scared the crap out of me. What up, Hoxton? Is that you can come back into these vents after you've been in them. And if you come down here to right here, all of your loot can be sitting peacefully right here. The only thing I worry about is I know a guard goes there, stands there, and looks. So I think you've got to throw it against here, and it should be fine. If you do that, you can load up all the loot from the vault. You can load up all the loot from the panic room. There's only one guard and a head guard that walk around here. You could mark them both if you wanted to and always know where they are. And it's basically free. You just load all of your loot, jump there, chuck it into this back corner. When you leave after I just did for hacking that dude, you can come into here. You can grab your loot. You can move all your loot up here to these boys. Down the stairs and you're clear out there. There's the guard. But yeah, other than that, super simple. Map's not the craziest thing in the world. It's just a little tight if you have to go downstairs to that bottom outside left corner. Uh, it's kind of hard to get out there sometimes. My suggestion is to go up past where I poison the whiskey, go right outside to the far end, and then loop over around the two civvies that hang out there. I didn't have to do it in this pass. I didn't have to show it off. That little corner is the hardest part of the map. If you take out the two guards like I did upstairs, that counts as a spec ops run that gets you the achievement. It's very, very simple to get the hack off of the lead guard. It's very, very simple to move Mason upstairs because there's nobody who can possibly see him. The whole map becomes super easy and you don't technically have to kill anybody. So I hope that helped you guys out. Happy heist and enjoy yourselves. Hope you enjoyed these guides. I'm out of here. Later. Mm -hmm.